Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institutes, and uh, today we have got this role play, which is very simple. So I'm not going to explain too many things. जो हमें YouTube पे follow कर रहे हैं, they all know that we have been regularly doing a speaking role play. So please try to take uh, you know multiple role role plays from there. मैंने आपको बताया कोई भी मेरी speaking है, please listen to it five times. Only then it will make a difference. क्योंकि अगर आप एक बार सुनते हो तो आपको सिर्फ सुनते हैं दो बार सुनते हो तो समझ आता है तीसरी बार सुनते हो तो थोड़ा थोड़ा समझ आता है थोड़ा थोड़ा बोलने लायक याद होता है फोर्थ टाइम में आप साथ साथ थोड़ा थोड़ा बोल पाते हो और फिफ्थ टाइम पे आप बिल्कुल उसको बोल पाते हो तो पांच बार अगर आप एक ही रोल प्ले को सुनोगे तो ज्यादा फायदा होगा सेकेंड चीज अगेन एग्जामिनर एग्जामिनर नहीं होता सिर्फ आपका पेशेंट होता है उसके हाथ में कोई मार्क्स नहीं होते OET सिर्फ एक ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग एग्जाम होता है इसमें वीडियो जेस्चर्स फेशियल एक्सप्रेशंस के कोई मार्क्स नहीं होते जो सामने एग्जामिनर बैठा है उसके एग्जाम में उसके हाथ में कोई मार्क्स नहीं होते सिर्फ ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग होगी जैसे अभी आप मेरी वॉइस को सुन पा रहे हो बिल्कुल ऐसे ही आपकी वॉइस एग्जामिनर के पास जाएगी और यही वो मेजर रीज़न है जब मैं ओ की स्पीकिंग करवाता हूँ तो मैं कभी भी अपना कैमरा ऑन नहीं करता ताकि आपका सारा ध्यान आपके ईयर्स और मेरी वॉइस पे हो ऐसे ही एग्जामिनर का जो आपका पेपर चेक करेगा जहाँ पे ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग जाएगी मेलबर्न में वो असेसर भी सिर्फ आपकी आवाज को सुन पाएगा तो मैं आपको पूरा रोल प्ले बोल के सुना रहा हूँ तो ज्यादा और थ्री मिनट्स आपको प्रिपरेशन के लिए मिलते हैं और फाइव मिनट्स आपको बोलना होता है तो ये छोटी छोटी चीजें आपको मेरे बाकी जगह पर मिल जाएंगी तो थ्री मिनट्स आपको प्रिपरेशन के मिलते हैं और फाइव मिनट्स आपको बोलना होता है तो मैं थोड़ा फास्ट बोलूंगा सो दैट ये रिकॉर्डिंग ज्यादा लंबी ना हो सेकेंड चीज एग्जामिनर आपका पेशेंट होता है इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं होता और उसके हाथ में कोई मार्क्स नहीं होते तो प्लीज उससे मत पूछो मेरा पेपर कैसा हुआ कैसा नहीं इट विल नॉट मेक अ डिफरेंस सिर्फ ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग के मार्क्स होते हैं फेशियल एक्सप्रेशंस जेस्टर्स के कोई मार्क्स नहीं होते सिर्फ ऑडियो ऑडियो का मतलब वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग होती है तो ये मेन फीचर्स हैं सो मैं यहाँ से शुरू करता हूँ अपना टास्क एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम Dr. B K M Institute of OIT, and we are executing this role play. And people who have inquiry, they can WhatsApp us on seven six nine six seven three four two five six. And our code for India is plus nine one for the people who are following us, following us from abroad. And uh, now I'm starting this thing. And please like, subscribe our channel so that you get daily OIT free videos, and you can then load from here. and i assure you if somebody is following our youtube channel that person can surely pass oit with just youtube channel a mentor is required to make to make improvements in you to make your uh, to to diagnose your loopholes the shortcomings in your writings speakings and to improve it so it is of course handy but if you follow our channel even that is more than sufficient but you have to do it regularly again it's a habit so setting a emergency ward key You are talking to a thirty-year-old, a thirty-eight-year-old mother of two young children. She slipped over this morning and says she has hurt her back. So, a mother has fallen. Two children are two children's mother. She now has severe back pain. She took some painkillers at home, but they did not work. Painkiller came. Her husband took her home, drove her in, and will be able to drive her home. And she will take her home again. Find out what happened when she slipped. Find out about the pain, where, what type of pain, how severe. तो ये सब चीजें आपको पूछना है अब देखो ओ टी का रोल प्ले अगेन मैंने आपको बताया था कि आप आराम से यहाँ पे लिख भी सकते हो सारे पॉइंट जैसे फर्स्ट आप लिख सकते हो कि वट हैपन्ड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन है आपका फाइंड आउट अबाउट द पेन वेयर इज द पेन आप देखो ओ टी में तीन मिनट मिलते हैं आप पहले ही सारा टास्क बना सकते हो वेयर इज द पेन फिर आप पूछ सकते हो वट टाइप ऑफ पेन थ्रोबिंग वट तो वो कहेगी बहुत ही शार्प पेन है मतलब बहुत ज्यादा है तो मतलब स्प्रेड है तो शार्प इन द सेंस सीवियर है तो आप कहोगे तो हाउ मच हाउ सीवियर इट इज कितना सीवियर है हाउ सीवियर इज इट कैन यू ये लाइन प्लीज कैन यू टेल मी ऑन पेन स्केल बस ये एक लाइन प्लीज सिंपल बनाओ इसको कॉम्प्लेक्स मत करो कैन यू टेल मी ऑन पेन स्केल वेयर जीरो इज मिनिमम एंड टेन इज द मैक्सिम पेन इतनी छोटी सी लाइन बोलो प्लीज इसे कॉम्प्लेक्स मत करो कैन यू टेल मी ऑन द पेन स्केल वेयर जीरो जहां पे जिस पेन स्केल में जीरो मिनिमम है टेन पेन हाउ मच इज द पेन वो आपको बताएगी ज्यादा पेन है तो इसका मतलब वो कहेगी लगभग एट टू सेवन टू एट तो यानी बहुत ज्यादा है 
तो फिर आपको ये सब बातें उसके साथ करनी है तो आप ये सारी बातें लिख भी सकते हो एक्सप्लेन वट विल हैपन तो उसको कहो नाउ डॉक्टर नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू फ्यू सजेशन आप ऐसे रोल प्ले में लिख दो डॉक्टर आएगा एडवाइस देगा तो डॉक्टर वर्ड लिख दो सिर्फ स्ट्रोंगर पेन किलर्स चाहिए होंगे आपको तो ओवर द काउंटर अगर काम नहीं किए क्योंकि आपने मुझे बताया काउंट किया दूसरा फिजियो आएगा जो आपको यहाँ पे दे रखा है फिजियो लिफलेट तो ये सब कुछ दे रखा है फिजियो लिफलेट विथ सजेस्टेड एक्सरसाइजेस तो जो जो है सब कुछ भी जेंटल एक्सरसाइजेस कहो पेन रिलीव स्टार्ट एज अ स्केल ट्राई द सिंपलर एनल जेसिक्स फिर मेडिकेशन को बढ़ाओ गिव हर डिस्चार्ज एडवाइस नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू डिस्चार्ज एडवाइस तो मैं आपको बोल के दिखा रहा हूँ तो आप पेपर में ऐसा लिख लेना आपको दिक्कत नहीं होगी मैं आपको इसके थ्रू ही बोल के दिखाता हूँ सो आपके लिए इजी रहेगा देखिए गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज भूपेश आई एम योर नर्स फॉर द डे सो हाउ मे आई हेल्प यू वेल नर्स सी यू नो आई हैव हर्ट माई बैक आई हैव स्लिप्ड ओवर एंड माई बैक इज रियली हर्ट सो प्लीज हेल्प मी वेल डोंट वरी वी आर हेयर टू हेल्प यू सो कुड यू प्लीज टेल मी वट हैपन हाउ डिड यू स्लिप well no so i was coming out my, out of my bathroom just had a bath and while coming out there was kind of a slippery uh, surface and i got tripped over and now i have hurt my back badly well i am ab uske sath patient ke sath connect karo apne question ki taraf nahi ab pehle puchho well i am sorry to hear that usko kaho well i am sorry to hear that but could you please tell me where is the pain well nurse i have just told you it's in the back okay so you are saying you are having the pain in the back but where is it is it on the upper back the lower back or the middle back or is it like all over the body well no nurse it is majorly in the back and it is uh, majorly in the lower back because i have slipped so i just fell on my lower back and it's really hurting okay i am sorry to hear that again but could you please tell me where uh, now what type of pain is it like is it kind of sharp pain what, what is the intensity of the pain is it severe well nurse yes it is it is very severe pain and i must tell you i am unable to bear it well sorry but according to the protocol i need to ask you that if we use a pain scale where 0 is the minimum and 10 is the maximum pain how much is your pain how would you rate your pain well nurse i would say it's really severe it's almost 7 to 8 out of 10 maybe more than that but i am telling you nurse it is very severe pain and i am unable to bear that well all right i am sorry to hear that again the second thing now i would like to give you few suggestions which will help you so first of all let me tell you that it would be examined by the doctor so doctor will come soon and he will examine you that what kind of pain are you having and also will tell you what kind of medications do you need to take so he will prescribe you few analgesics which are basically nsaids that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs these medications are the best pain relieving medications so doctor will give you first of all simpler painkillers and then he will move the scale up and use stronger ones if the simpler one do not work if the simple medications will not work work then he will give you the stronger ones i would like to ask you one more question may i well yes nurse that did you have any painkillers well yes nurse i went to the over uh, pharmacy i took over the counter medications but these are not effective okay so you have answered me the right thing so if it is not effective obviously doctor is going to give you the stronger ones so he will examine you and then he will give you the stronger medications second thing is that also i would like to give you a physio leaflet that means a leaflet created by the physiotherapist with suggested gentle exercises so he will he will demonstrate you some exercises which would be very gentle in nature and they would be given by the physiotherapist and this leaflet has all the pictures of those exercises so please follow this leaflet and also use the and uh, take your painkillers or time as directed by the doctor so please be strict with your schedule if you want to recover early of course nurse i want to recover early yes that's what i mean by that that if you wish to recover early please follow the doctor's instruction all right nurse i will okay the last thing is that i would like to give you now advice after your discharge there are certain things that you need to follow first of all as i have already told you you need to take painkillers as directed by the doctor please do not miss any of the medications given by the doctor unless your pain is relieved even if your pain is relieved you need to talk to the doctor because sometime pain relief is temporary so please also tell the doctor he will give you stronger painkillers all right nurse second thing is that never take the medications with empty stomach it is important to have food with non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs that means these medications otherwise simple but they need to be taken with the food which is very important 
Also, you need to report back to accident and emergency department. That means you need to call us if painkillers are not helping. Gentle exercises will play a very important role. And also it is very important for you that you should keep moving. So please do not be stationary because whenever we sit down and we do not make gentle movements, then the pain aggravates, it increases. So please try to move yourself, but also make sure do not do anything aggressively. It is all about gentle exercises. The last and the most important thing would be the heat packs. Heat is very important in our body to increase our blood circulation. So whenever our body is warm, then it feels better with the pain. You will feel less pain. So please try to use the heat packs and also avoid any heavy lifting and make sure that the next time, whenever you are moving from one place to another at your home, the floor is clear so that you do not slip again, because this is also very important because if you fall again on the same point, it might hurt and it can be severe than this time. So please try to keep your floor clean and also give instructions to your um, home members as well, the other members at home to follow these instructions like clearing, keeping the floor clean. Is it all good? Well, yes, nurse. So, okay, I would like to highlight the key points. So doctor will give you medications as per watching your conditions and he will let you know what kind of painkillers do you require. Second thing apart from this, the most important thing is to do some gentle exercises. So keep yourself moving. And as told by the physiotherapist and also mentioned in the leaflet, please follow those exercises. And third, please make sure that your floor is all clean and so that you do not slip again. Is it all good? Well, yes, nurse. Okay, then take care. This is Bhupesh. And if you need any assistance, please let us know. And now you, a doctor will come and will prescribe you the painkillers. If you need any help, please ring the buzzer that is beside you, or you can just call us and we all are here to help you until the doctor comes. Is it okay? Well, yes, nurse. Okay, thanks. Take care. So this is how you execute the role play. So please make sure that you do the best with the role play and it's going to be good on you if you do the best with your role plays. Thank you. Please like subscribe and hit the bell icons for the free OIT coaching videos.